Fact-checking rolls out on Twitter in the form of Birdwatch, and MAGA loses its fucking mind. Don't worry. You don't, you don't need to be afraid, MAGA folks. Uh, this is not going to impact your world or your belief systems, unless you let it. But here's an example of one that came out today. Elon Musk. You know, and, and MAGA folks, you should be really cautious about thinking Elon Musk is going to be your superhero. But you go ahead and do that for now. And as soon as uh, fact-checking came out today on that... Business Insider picked it up and ran a story on it. But let's address, let's take a look at some of the MAGA concerns about what they perceive Birdwatch might be. All right, let's try to address some MAGA concerns about uh, the nature of Birdwatch and what it'll mean to them. What if the fact checkers are the ones lying? Well, hopefully there's nobody lying, fact checkers or otherwise, but if... Uh, Fact checkers were be it were to be provably incorrect. Uh, hopefully, that there's uh, Birdwatch notes can be altered, not not changed. The note itself can't be changed, but whether or not it stays visible can be changed if it's found to be incorrect. Also, if you have better facts at hand, you can still present it within the Twitter user user interface. That hasn't changed. It'll still be in the feed. So Twitter will guide a, a user's thoughts in a particular direction. Uh, if you're open to facts and facts do guide you in a particular direction, then yes, that would be true. No dissent allowed. You can dissent from a fact. You can, you're free to do that. Everyone must agree with a single party, a single ideology. The fact checking is not going to be done by a single party or single ideology. You must vote based on what they approve. That just, what, that doesn't even make sense. And must not think for yourself. That also doesn't make sense. That's just garbage. The notes will only be added to conservative base tweets. No, untrue. The fact of the matter is, it's highly probable that very few notes will get through on uh, MAGA people. Like, you know, all of your favorites and including Fox News and, you know, Matt Gates and Marjorie Taylor Greene, all those people, and also your, like, your belief systems, too. No notes will get through on those, like the, uh, the groomer thing or um, CRT and, and K-12 or, like, any of the crazy shit you believe, no note will ever get through, and that's because th this system is agreement-based, and if, we, if parties on different sides do not agree to the facts of a situation, the note will not get through. So it doesn't matter, and that's just the way it is. You know, we can present all the facts we want to make to the MAGA people that are within Birdwatch. It doesn't matter. They just believe the things they believe, and and those beliefs are inalterable, and, and it just won't. It'll never happen. So you're safe, because most most of the notes you're going to see are going to be on. If I mean, if they're political at all, if you see a note that's political, it's probably going to be on a Democrat. Most and most of the notes otherwise are going to be on just on things that don't matter, just like memes or any you know just silly things. Those notes get through because we we MAGA people will agree with us on memes and silly things. <clears throat> uh, actual election meddling? It it well if facts meddle with your election then yes. It I'm sure this won't be biased at all. It won't be biased. As I said, it had, there has to be an agreement. These helpful notes will be rather one-sided. Like I was saying, probably, I mean, they will politically, because the only notes you're going to see are probably going to be on Democrats. Mm, 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 mm. Old enough to remember Twitter censoring false vaccine information only for blah, 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 blah. Uh, blah. You know... There's some things that MAGA people just need to understand. It is absolutely plausible that facts do change over time. But aside from that, um, you know, let's build into the scientific method. Facts do change. But that's not the issue here. The issue here is, number one, this is not Twitter. This is uh, independent people that have to agree. Number two, uh, the decisions that Twitter made for themselves for their private business I'm sure facts come into play for their decisions, but their decisions are profit oriented. So, you know, how they decide they want to run their platform, and that's and how they best think they can 
go out and how they can make money. That's that's what drives their decisions. Uh, the must deal cannot happen fast enough. Yeah, you know, this is a thing that you MAGA people are going, going to need to get into your heads. Elon Musk is not going to be your savior on Twitter or any other social media platform. He, you know, if the I'm not even convinced the deal is going to go through yet. I won't believe it until it actually happens. But uh, when it does, the ideas, the things that he presented aren't aren't workable. You know, if if he does buy Twitter, which is a company that already loses money, and he just put himself in a forty-four billion dollar stinker situation here, he completely did this to himself. If this deal does go through, he's going to have to find some people that know what they're doing uh, to be in charge of it, because um, the ideas he came up with they they don't make sense. They do not make sense. Mm, basically, another controlled and scripted election. We haven't had one of those yet, so yeah, the deal can't close fast enough for Elon Musk. Yeah, you know, there's there's a lot of things that mag people need to consider. That the type of social media environment you think it is that you want, those don't work. We have pr plenty of proof of that. Like a a. a a social media comp or a social media platform that does not maintain um, high standards, uh, people don't like it. They don't like to have to be in just edge lord situations all day long. That's why those companies they don't make money. You know, this company already doesn't make money. They don't need to just throw it away by making it worse. There is, you know, and the other thing is too. Just the Elon Musk's very simpleton ideas of freedom of speech. It's not workable in, in a in a multinational, you know, wide-ranging social media platform because freedom of speech changes from country to country. If you don't maintain, uh, if you don't have standards that everybody needs to meet, regardless of laws in all those countries, you know, to just say you can't you can't do or say everything that you want. If you don't if you don't maintain that, then you get yourself in all kinds of problems. For example just like say something like Nazism say Elon Musk says well you it's freedom of speech you can say whatever you want you can promote Nazi ideology well you can't do that in Germany that's illegal you see do you understand uh, also you know seriously if he if he were singularly controlling this company he would be really concerned about how China takes everything that goes on on his social media company it would become a big deal this is why I think he, he would just he, he would need to find other people that can run this company that know what they're doing and and you know take a couple of his wild I ideas and put them into play but all the things that he thought he could do to Twitter are, were just insane like totally unworkable so can they fill my ballot for me so I get it right I, you should be able to trust yourself to do that who wants to bet they're actually not helpful no, they did studies, and uh, and people from all all walks of life found it helpful. That's and that's part and parcel of the fact that a lot of the notes don't get through, like ninety nine percent of the notes don't get through because we can't agree on them. So you're only going to see the ones that a lot of them are just going to be plain Jane, you know, like somebody posts a meme and it's stupid and it's not real, or you know, manipula a manipulated image. You know, we're all going to agree on manipulated images and say that's not, this is not a real image. So, I mean, to that extent, yeah, it won't be helpful because it's just going to be a lot of silly things that we're fact checking. But the ones that do get through on political topics, I guarantee you will find helpful. No one will ever believe them again. I don't even know what you're talking about. <clears throat> How much you want to bet the elig eligible users are entirely leftists? I'll bet you three billion dollars, because we're not. Uh, and as I said earlier, you, you're not going to see. You probably won't. You won't see any notes on your favorite um, conspiracy theories because, to MAGA people, all the conspiracy theories are true, and it doesn't. Even if they know they aren't true, they're still true because they like them. So you're, you're safe. You'll never see a. You'll never see a note on those. Here's the video that Twitter put out today about the release of Birdwatch. Uh, and as I was saying, it'll be um, 
bridging based ranking. It's not majority rules or popularity rules, so you don't have to worry about that. I'm just really interested in the timing because last I heard there was Birdwatch was not going to be fully released for a long time yet. Uh, there was a New York Times interview with the people in control of it from Twitter's end, and they said there was no chance that it was going to be available before the upcoming midterms. And that, uh, let's see, his quote is, Coleman said the project continues to move on its own intentionally cautious timetable and won't be rushed out for any particular political cycle. Now, I don't feel this is rushed out, but I do feel it is incomplete because, uh, you know, last I heard, they had finished working on the false uh, positives, but no one ever did anything. I'm, I don't know, not did anything. The false negatives do not appear to have been addressed in any meaningful way. I believe my gut instinct tells me that this has something to do with the impending Elon Musk deal, that they need it for some reason. I don't know why, but for some reason, they needed this to be a finished project now and for it to go public now. Yeah, so I'm just guessing. I'm trying to make sense of it. It could be that the technical people on Twitter's end involved with this need this to be a, a, a visible, finished product, because maybe that means something about how it will be addressed later. Or it could be that the people that are in this project know full well that if Elon Musk were in control, he'll, he'll put an end to it. And so they already need to be working on other projects that are less likely to be on the chopping block. This is just, I'm just guessing. You know, this is uh, not based in any reality. I'm just trying to make sense of it, and I can't, I don't have the facts yet, and I'm hoping I, I do get the facts somehow.